We just finished learning how to create elements, how to create images on the fly, how to add these things and append them to other elements. And the question is, well, how can you actually use this to make something really cool, something you can show off on CodePen and GitHub and your portfolio website? Well, one really simple thing you can do is to build out a to-do list. So let's walk through creating a to-do list. And before we do that, I just wanna show you our example. So I can just write out tests and anything I put in here will just be displayed. I'm using an ordered list to append it. Let me refresh the page just to show you exactly what's happening here. So when I inspect the element, by the way, I've styled mine using Bootstrap. We are not gonna do that because that just takes up a little bit more time we definitely don't have to do, but simply by adding a few classes, I'm able to make it look way better. And you'll actually see that because our example is not gonna look this good, even though to be honest with you, this doesn't look that great. You definitely need to style this way better, but the plain version without Bootstrap looks horrendous. So you definitely need to improve this. So here's our ordered list. Right now, it's empty. There's nothing in there. So keep an eye on this bottom part right here. So when I write in test, all of a sudden now I can drop it down and there's one. Every time I add it and hit click me, a new LI is being created right here. So that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be creating an LI inside of our ordered list. Every time we click this button and it's going to be calling whatever text we wrote in here. All right, so let's refresh this page. Minimize that. Let's pull up our index.html file. All right, so we're linking to CSS as usual. We have our body tag, which is linking to main.js, and I just have our to-do list app. All right, just written there in an H1 tag. So it looks basically like this. All right, I'm not even centering anything. That's fine for now. I don't really want to cover that in this video. You already know how to do that. So now underneath our H1 tag, we need to actually create that form. So we'll just do form ID and we'll just do to do form. Nice and simple. We'll have an input with an ID of to do input. We'll have a button with a type equal to button so the page is not ref a refresh because this is where our on click function will come in. We'll just call it to do list. Say click me. Then we'll close the form. All right, so we have our form ID of to do form, input ID of to do input, and button type button on click connects to our function, which we're going to call to do list. All right, underneath that, we're going to create a unordered list tag. Actually, let's go with ordered list tag. ID equals to do list. All right, so this is the list itself. And then we can just close that. All right, so everything we create is going to be appended to this. All right, so this is what we're gonna to use to pull the data, the form, and we're going to attach that data to our ordered list. All right, so let's go into our main.js. First thing to do is to create a function called to-do list, which as you remember is what we had our on click event connect to here. Inside of this, we're gonna create a variable called item equal to document.get element by ID. We'll do to do input dot value, right? And to do input is connecting to our input element here. All right, var text equals document dot create text node and we're just gonna put item in there. So we're gonna get the value and then we're gonna enter that value into a new variable called text because that way we actually have the text node. You can't actually just use this. You need to actually convert it into a text node or it will not work. So we're gonna do var new item equals document dot create element li. Right, so now we're just going to be creating our li element. Now we need to do new item dot append child text. Right, so now we're appending whatever text was entered into our li. 
and it's only for this one instance of the function, so it only happens on click, whatever is in there will append the text into our li. Now we can just do document dot get element by ID. We'll do to do list dot append child new item. All right, so now we're going to grab our ordered list and we're going to append our li to it. We'll save this. Back in here, we're going to refresh. There we see our input and click me. We'll do test. And there we go. And every time we write in there, just inspecting the same thing, it will add a new li right into our order list. So that's all you need to create a simple to-do app.